<coughs> Good morning. <laughs> so I'm choking on my drink of water. Hello and welcome. Uh, guys, it's Friday and we've launched today. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I'm like, do I have all, am I fully dressed today? <laughs> God, I don't have bare feet. I have flip flops on. Um, and I'm wearing my like favorite summer uniform. So I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad these fans are launching today. Um, so good morning. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Who's on? Diane's here. Um, from Canada. Eileen's here from Colorado. Teresa's here from Canada. Tamara from, whoa, can, the, can, the Canadians are coming out loud and clear. At least they're hollering from the screen. Um, Casey's here from Arizona. So good morning. It was a little wild around these parts today. So beautiful, beautiful day in Texas. Hopefully the spring weather is headed, is it headed north yet? Canada, are you still freezing? You're still freezing in Canada. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's beautiful. It, spring in Texas is the time to be in Texas, 100%. Beautiful here. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started, you guys. We have a big lunch. In fact, um, I know your questions are going to come. We, I think we said the, we hoped that um, the jumpsuit was launching today, but it actually literally pulled up one minute ago into the back of back of our warehouse so unfortunately we weren't able to get that up today because we couldn't get it on the models and show it to you so that did not make launch we had all the hopes that it was going to make it in time to slide in in time to launch today but it won't but regardless we have a good launch today so um let's go ahead and get started first of all if you're joining me for the first time hello and good morning my name is melissa owner and designer here of graceandlace.com a women's apparel company um, we're not a boutique. We make and design our own items custom just for you to help you look good and feel good. So we are rolling right now with our spring launches. We've got a launch day weekend sale going on right now on denim. We're going to talk about in a second. We've got um, some graphic tees coming. Our notch neck tee um, is one of the favorite, a favorite style around here. That's back in the new graphic print we're going to talk about. We have the most comfortable, flowy, and fashionable um, jersey skirts that are so, so nice to wear during the warm summer months. We've got some fun tees. Our ribbed, um, ribbed tee is in a new kind of patchwork type of style and print we'll talk about. Then my hands down favorite of the launch are our cargo shorts. Um, like similar to the camper, camper cargo pants that launched in a shorts version, but these are actually our cargo shorts that launched two years ago in three colors and you guys like them and beg for them to come back and then have a adjustable inseam length. I can't wait to share those with you because they're my favorite. And this really great, nice applique cami tank kind of thing. Like it's kind of a cami, it's kind of a tank, can be either. We did a nicer, thicker strap on here so it hides your bra straps um, and pretty with the lace. So we're gonna talk about that. First of all, we have our launch weekend flash sale going on right now, $15 denim shorts, okay? So the warm weather's coming, rolling in hopefully to where you are. Uh, time to snag a nice pair of shorts for 15 bucks. So if you're a deal shopper, if you have friends that are deal shoppers, if you have children, neighbors, or whatever, tell them time to snag a pair of denim shorts for 15 bucks. So these are regular 53, $54 shorts for 15. So we have the button fly. Um, this is a cuffed, a tacked cuffed. So this is a um, it's rolled twice and cuffed. Nice dressy option for a denim short. So if you think of the times in the spring and summer where you might need like a classier look or a dressier type look for an event, backyard event, I don't know, you're hosting something where you want a pair of shorts, hot outside, but want to kind of dress your option. This is great for that. And then these are the, um, the high rise button fly shorts. So this is a covered button fly on this one. Raw hem has a little bit more of that like uh, trendier look and feel. Both have great stretch in the denim, so they're easy to wear with that great stretch. This one I'd size up a size in. This is more that skinny fit. Remember we talked about skinny fit um, shorts last week? That's a skinny fit set, skit one. So I would size up in that one if you're snagging those. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. We have the girls here. Um, we're starting with the notch neck tee. Or tee. We make this one I don't know why I grabbed two. Maybe because I was gonna put one on and then show and then show you the print. We make our we've made our notch neck tee. Um, gosh, 
washed and worn probably three or four times over the last falls, springs, summers. Okay, it's a really nice summer tea. Actually, it's a year-round tea, honestly, because of that cotton feel. It has the um, a little bit of texture in the cotton, kind of has that washed and worn type of look through here. The the standout statement of this tea is the butterfly graphic. It's a little bit more to the trendier modern side, but you have kind of the throwback in the retro flowers and I'm crowning around. And then the colors in here, you guys know when we make our graphics, we put the colors in them that match and coordinate with everything. So if you've got a pink pair of Mel's favorite denim, if you have the olive, obviously there's black in here, okay? There's a little bit of mint. There's even sagey. So when I talked about the olive um, jeans, there's that sagey olive green running in here and then kind of a fun border print. I love when a graphic, I'm a big fan, when a graphic takes up a lot of body space. I don't know why. I just think it makes a little bit more of a statement when it's like a full body graphic. So we make these extra extra small to extra extra large so you can kind of customize fit by going up or down or staying normal depending what you prefer. I would say it's a relax, it's a relaxed fit in its true to size. So, so between sizes, this is the extra small on me, I'm between an extra small and a small. So if I go down to the extra small, I get like a nice kind of slim fit without being tight. I do have my tank on too, so don't need to wear a tank under a graphic tee. Um, but I can go up if I wanna do like, want more length or wear with biker shorts and get more coverage that way too. Uh, it has the side slits, a little bit of the step hem. The notch neck is actually something I often do on my own t-shirts, my own cotton t-shirts, all my volleyball t-shirts. I take a scissors and cut, I actually did a tutorial on cutting this. I love the extra space in the neckline. I'm always kind of pulling at necklines when they're too tight, so crews often can get too tight up there. I just love the, it gives it kind of a raw, casual type of feel. You'll see that as well, kind of in the exposed stitching. Let me see if I can pull that up. So it's a raw, we did the, we did the notching, the neck for you, um, but it's stop stitch, so it's not gonna fray any further. Here you can see that nice kind of cotton washed and worn material, and then here you can see little, just little details that make it look um, you know, like this perfect casual cotton tee. And then the graphic just kind of stands out, okay? So, guys, I know, I'm so, I feel like I say it every week, I've been saying it every week, and I'm so sorry. Our jewelry is going to sell out light, lightning fast this year. It, it just, it, it is, it's a thing, and clearly <laughs> it's a hot thing, um, and we did not make enough. So week to week, it's going to continue to sell out. So it's here, and I'm sorry, it's, sold out. Um, I, I wish I wish I could have made more because I know I, I know I we now see we now see this year how popular our jewelry is so that one's good. Okay um, so let's bring the girls out in this one and I'm an extra small now. I have these not should, you can come on Taylor. Taylor in this in extra extra right yeah. which is her normal size. Um, you really have the ability to change, to adjust your fit or pick your size based on how you like your t-shirts to fit. So if you like them to be more roomy, if you just like an easy casual fit, stay in your normal size. If you want something a little bit slimmer, you can go down in this one. Some people like slim fit tees, some people like more oversized, some people like the boyfriend style of a fit. So it's cotton, it has that nice breathable feel. Extra small fits me close to body, small fits me even uh, like more oversized style. So Taylor in her normal extra, extra small, she's just got a little front tuck on that one. I'll put the small on you because I guess you guys, I know I actually have both smalls and extra smalls of um, these notch neck tees in my closet at home because sometimes I prefer like the looser, kind of bigger boyfriend. So here's the small on me. Um, so just like even looser and then more length as well. So it kind of gives you like, if you prefer that to be looser and bigger, then go up, stay in your normal size for not a fitted look, but just like a, a nice true to size look, okay? All right, um, yes, Lindsay, this uh, jewel, this one launched in silver. If that, is this already sold out too? Um, which short, Taylor, Tina, Taylor was wearing the $15 shorts today. <laughs> the high rise button fly. This is what she um, had on with this. Kind of cute that this has like a lighter blue wash and that lighter blue's in here. Okay, Missy in this one, told you, okay, if you have the green, Mel's faves, denim, and you're looking for more tops, we here, we're here to make more tops that work for you. So look at how great this is. So this kind of green olive, she's got that sagey, all kinds of, there's like 
several shades of green here in the um, in the butterfly design. So that looks so cute put together. So normal size small in that, normal size small in her. Natalie in this, can wear black with them. The great thing about a graphic, a color graphic, is that, especially like this, you can pull out pinks, you can pull out greens, you can pull out blues, you can just do denim or you can do black because there's all the black lining. So this is one of those ones that kind of works with everything and, show, and works well whether you do a color on bottom or a basic on bottom, easy peasy. Okay, normal size medium on her. And then Michelle in this one, and she's got it on. Love this kind of more casual look with the um, tensile lysol, that, sh that chambray kind of color, loose feel. She's just got it tucked. You could leave it out for a super casual look as well. So easy peasy with something like that too. Blues, blacks, light denim, dark denim, colors. This is your graphic for that, okay? Michelle in her normal size large. Any question on that? Um, if you have, let's see, where can I find... The mock, oh, Deborah, it, I think it's on our Instagram. If not, Casey, if you're on, <laughs> will you check? I think I do a, uh, I think on our Instagram highlights, there's a how to. Um, I think I do it on there. I know I did it on my personal page, but I think we moved it over there and I did a how to create this. It's really, really easy to create this notch neck. I think it's on the how to section. Maybe the girls can repost it, so it'll be up on there, okay? Um, Yes, Marie, absolutely. Works great with the, the blush color Mel's faves too. When, um, when Maddie was designing this one, we had already had our denim. Our denim takes forever to make. So we already had our denim done. So we specifically used greens, pinks, blushes to work perfectly with that denim. So to take the question mark out for you, we made it super, super easy, okay? So um, just really easy style, really easy to throw on. We give you the variety of sizing um, for you to choose if you prefer stay to size or tighter or looser, up to you, okay? Let's move on to the wrap high-low maxi skirt. Two colors in this, okay? What I love about this is you have your everyday, okay, hot summer day, um, maxi skirt but adds a little slight bit of drama okay and that's what i love about it okay so it's made up i'm gonna hold up this color we have two colors in it and this one you can see a lot better it's a high low faux wrap style so one no messing with any sort of wrap tying it all the way around getting it to stay there so we made that look for you but sewed it all into the seam so this never fully opens all the way because both pieces this inside wrap portion and the outside are fully sewn seam to seam. So you get the look of a wrap and the flowiness of the style and the movement. Okay, look at how this drape and has the movement. Um, but in this comfortable, nice jersey material. Plus, my favorite thing ever is when we do this yoga style waistband. I love when we don't have to put the top elastic in the top. So super, super comfortable. If I was still pregnant, during the summer, if I, if I was like, th this would be my choice, this is my choice. So you know of anyone expecting, this is super, super stretchy, nice, comfortable fit at the waist, nothing digging in. So you know anyone expecting or maternity, tag them, send this, send this to them because it's a, it's a great skirt for comfort wear at the waist, but you still get that little bit of drama like with that wrap. Um, so the great thing about it is here you can make this one as dressy or as casual as you want it. So even holding it up here with the butterfly tee, look at how cute that is. And that's just a tee and an easy cotton flowy skirt. But, but you can also do, you could do something slim under this. You could do a brahmi. You could add a vest to it. You could do a cami. You could do a dressed up button. You could do a button down shirt with it. I mean, so many ways that you can wear and style this, but I love the simplicity and just giving it that really flattering flow um, through the body. So true to size fit on this. I would say if you're curvier um, through the hip, and you're between sizes, then I would size up. I'm between an extra small and a small. Um, I can wear the extra small just fine, but I actually prefer a little bit more flowiness just through the swing and the drape of the small. So I would say if you are to the, to the curvy side and you're, que you're questioning what size between sizes, I'd go with your upper size. Otherwise, there's just really, really great amount of stretch in here. And again, nothing really binding or confining because the only seam really is where that seam is and it's nice and stretchy. Hey, so many questions on this. Natalie says I'm pregnant. Yes, Natalie, all the pregnant people, this would be wonderful for because it's just super comfortable sitting under a big belly for the waistline. 
Um, but you can tuck this in, you can wear it high-waisted, you can scrunch it down. The other thing with this type of waist is you can scrunch it too, like if you want it scrunched or if you want it, you can, you can really make this on your body however you want, you want to make it, okay? So stay true to size unless between um, or you're curvier through your hip then um, you might want to size up on this, but it's so stretchy and slow, so flowy. Let's see, what size is this one? Well, well this is not going to work. I'm trying to keep my, my changes on, on camera so I don't have to jump off, but I don't know that this is going to work out too well. This might be a big, big fail right here because I have a tank on, I have a tee on, I have shorts on, and now I have a skirt on. So don't do what I do. Don't wear multiple layers underneath your, your skirt. You don't need to. But just so you can see, okay, nice and flowy. Look at that. Easy walk, easy movement, but you don't have to worry anything about this opening up. It's fully, it is sewn here and here. Okay, so it just, it's easy to move, easy to walk, nice and flowy, super flattering on. And then please, please ignore that I have shorts on underneath. Okay, any questions on this? Let's bring, um, let's see, the way you cross color. Oh, thanks Arlene, she says the way you cross color. Oh, I just went away, but she was just saying that she likes the way that I think that we put color together. So you can do a tee with this and be super casual. I would tuck it, tuck it in or knot it up because I really like the angles in this skirt. I think it's, please don't look at the fact that I have shorts under this. Okay, I really, really like the angles with the skirt. I think it's super, super flattering. So let's bring the girls out. You'll see, and I'm barefoot again, okay? So um, you're gonna see a couple different ways. So if you wanna go for like a slimmer feature up top, okay, she's got the bodysuit with it, she can do that, or she could do like a graphic tee and knot it up. Like I have, a, I feel like I really need to take the shorts off underneath this. Am I ruining this whole experience for everyone trying to buy these? Yes. <laughs> no answer. <laughs> you can see like there are these big chunky shorts on underneath this. Okay. Um, Normal size, extra small on her, okay, stretchy, stretchy waist, she's got plenty of room, she has movement through the legs. Um, you could do a brami with this, you could wear the, you could do this on a vacation. I mean, there's so, so many ways to wear this, put it on, throw it on, black goes with everything, this is the other color that it's in, and then black in this one, okay? It's extra small on here. Her, I'm, I can't handle myself, so <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> I'll just walk around. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm fine. have the tank on though. <laughs> better? <laughs> okay, better. <laughs> no, I don't have. So stretchy, nice and comfortable fit, not tight here through the waistband at all. You kind of control if you want to go up or you want to go down. Please, I do still have a two shirt situation on, okay? Um, if you want to go, go up or down, but in your normal size, nice and flowy, great movement in this. Okay, Missy in this one. Okay, love this. This is another great way to do this. So what I was saying, graphic tee makes it super casual. You can go dress up a little bit, add a chambray, add, add our chambray vest, okay, just do a brami. I mean, there's a million ways you can do a skirt, but kind of the point is, is it's nice and flowy and can be as dressy as you want it, or it's not as dressy as you want it. So normal size small on her. Okay, Natalie on this one. And here's kind of the denim jacket, same kind of similar thing. Just let the skirt kind of do its thing. And whether you want to be casual with a graphic tee or want a little bit more of a dressed up look, makes it easy peasy. Okay, normal size medium on her. And then Michelle in this, and she's got my kind of similar graphic tee look. I love a tee and a, a jersey skirt look. I think it's a great look for summer and to be nice and flowy and have that nice like kind of movement in the bottom. So normal size large on Michelle. Hey, okay, questions on this one? Tees are easy to knot up and have great coverage and around. Totally agree. Okay. Um, this is, please describe, oh, Kelsey has a question. She said, describe the terracotta color. Um, I would say it's like a dusty rose, like a dusty rose pink more so than terracotta. When I think of terracotta, I think of orange, like orange. And I wouldn't say there's orange in this at all. I would say it's a deep, like a nice deep dried rose, <laughs> I go there, dusty rose, nice dry, dried rose um, type of color, really pretty, nice and flowy, look at the great drape, okay, it just has nice great drape and hang, and then again, you control where you kind of put this, so if you're shorter and you want a shorter skirt, roll this waistband over and pull that and you can gain a lot, look at that, 
Okay, I just rolled the waistband over, scrunched that up a little bit. You can kind of raise and lower it to your preference, okay? Or let this out, wear it a little bit lower waisted, scrunched up, or higher waisted. I mean, it gives you the room and play to kind of wear it where you want to wear it. So I'm 5'5 five five for height reference, obviously barefooted, um, but you can, you know, if you're shorter, just, just roll this, roll this right over, okay? And scrunch it up, and it still looks an X. Really cute that way. Okay, any questions on this? Um, did that help Kelsey with the terracolored color? I would say it's more closer to like a dried rose, like a dusty dried rose than it does have like, like orange. I wouldn't say there's much orange in this at all. Okay, um, Maria, I have, uh, shoot, what size do I have? I think I have on the small. Yeah, I have on the small right now, which is the size that I prefer. Um, I can do the extra small. Do you guys need to see the extra small? I think I can do an on-camera change for this. Does that help you guys to see the extra small on me? There is, there's not a side seam. Um, hold on, wait, nope, wait, I lied. So sorry. Yes, there is a side seam. Whoever asked that, I wanna, this, there is side seams because of that wrap panel. So yes, there are side seams in this skirt. Let me see if I can do this. Look at this. I'm getting, I'm getting good, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Here's the extra small. So I'm still comfortable, nice, good stretch through the waist on this. And then I still get like nice flow, like nice room, nice room and flow. I'm going to sit a little bit closer to my hips in this one. And it doesn't, I don't have as much like swinging down through the bottom, but still very nice and flowy. But I would say if I was any hippier, um, than this, then I would, I would, I don't know that I would like the extra small on me if I was any hippier than this. This sits like nice and flattering close to my hip and I use a little bit of stretch in the hip in this one. Is that helpful? <coughs> okay, there's no hip measurement, Renee, because this is, there's a technical measurement for the hip, but this is really hard to measure because it's a wrap. Like it's not, there's not a standard, there's actually two panels. There's a panel here and there's a panel from here to here. So there's not a standard hip measurement. I can see if we can list it, but it's gonna be hard for you to measure. I would stay in your normal size. I would say the only way that I would go with a different size in this is if sometimes you size up for hip reasons. Say so that would be the only thing. Like if you're shopping and you're like, I need to grab two sizes because of my hip, you, you know who you are, I think, okay? Um, so if that's one of your reasons, then you might, you might wanna go up in this, but it is nice and roomy and very, very stretchy in general, but does have a flattering fit down through the hip. Okay, any questions on this one? Um, how does the color compare? Mm, Patty, good question. Um, social media girls will be able to help you with that one. Ask that, ask that on our Facebook VIPs page. Um, hopefully they can pull that from our design library. Um, I would say it's definitely more, oh, I can hold it up now and show you the color instead of, um, it's a pretty, like, it's a pretty nice spring, dusty, dusty rose. Dried rose, dusty rose. That's what I would call it. Okay, let's move on. Let's go on to the, what am I on next? The Pash Rib Knit Tee. We have done the Rib Knit, let's see, what did we call that? Um, not our Slinky Tee, our Fitted Rib Tee. There we go, Fitted Rib Tee. Um... This is going to be the most similar to that. I was trying to find something when I think about this style that will be the most similar because it's the same material. So this is our nice kind of nice and stretchy ribbed material. Look at, you can see this. Super stretchy, nice, thin, lightweight. You can see how it just kind of flows. Um, nice and nice and stretchy, nice, cool handed, slinky type of feel. And then we just went totally different with this type of style for a rib. So we did the lettucing all the way around. You have a lettuce hem here at the neck. You have it on the sleeve. It lettuces all at the patchwork up and down the front. And that patchwork continues on the back. And then the lettuce hem. I love a good, we were talking about this the other day. 
I think a lettuce hem just elevates something slightly. I don't know, it's just because it looks like maybe a slight ruffle, it's a slight detail, but really it's just the stretching of the fabric with a marrow edge seam that just kind of gives it a little bit something visual. And I feel like it adds to all the seaming work here. So two colors in this and the, the prints are the same. Really tiny, small, tone on tone, ditzy floral in the patchwork on this. So this one is your gray very neutral again can't even really tell it's a floral you just get that kind of variance in the pattern and then the tone on tone same here in the pink color again just that ditzy same ditzy floral as this one but in a tone on tone of the pink fun summer top just great easy to throw on with a pair of shorts cutoffs crops k crop pants just a great way to add something different that's not necessarily a graphic, not just a, just a solid color tee, but offers that slight bit of pattern and interest. True to size on this, let's bring the girls out, tailor in this, and I feel like I'm going to have to go back and get my shirt on. I'm going to put this on. Okay, easy to, this is, it just, it's just so easy. It's just great to put on. You don't have to tuck it. You don't have to mess with knotting it. There's nothing that you really need to do to make this or turn this into something. Just throw it on. And then whatever you put on the bottom kind of makes your look more elevated or more casual. So if you go with a distressed pair of shorts, you get a little bit more casual. If you pair this with white denim or white shorts, you get a little bit more dressy. Just gives you that variance. And this is her normal size. It does have a longer length sleeve on it. We know you guys love that too. So this is longer than kind of the cap or shorter sleeve styles that we typically do like in a ribbed knit would usually offer you like a shorter sleeve. So this gives you that longer sleeve here too, which is great, okay? Taylor, um, Heather says, love this tee, cute. The size ranges in this are extra small to extra large, and it does have a ton of stretch. So really, you know, stay true to size in this for the intended fit. If you're between sizes and you want um, more to the looser side, go up. If you like to the more fitted side, go down. You have a lot of stretch in this material. It's nice and slinky, nice and drapey, very cool-handed, very comfy shirt and then you get that little pop of that patchwork, okay? Um, let's bring Missy out in this one. And then here's kind of what I was what I was saying with you kind of can dress it up a little bit by pairing the white with it. So she did white shorts, do white crops with it, would dress it up a little bit. And she's got that nice, stretchy, slinky, true to size fit, okay? If you're between or you want more room, you can go up in it. Um, some people may size up a full size depending on what they like in, in our fitted rib tees, but I would say fit is similar to that and that nice longer sleeve is great. No, it's just her normal size small on her, okay? Natalie in this one. I hope someone can, uh, oh, that would be a great one, Dawn. I didn't even think about that. The camper cargos would be a great one with this too, yeah. So she's got our Tencel cargos on, which this is a good option too. Great length on this. You don't have to tuck it. You don't have to knot it. Just leave it out and leave it. It's kind of one of those no fuss tees that make it so easy to wear. So Natalie in her normal size, medium. And then Michelle in this one, this pink looks great on her, okay? Nice, again, great length, just kind of sits, just stays. It can't really, you can't mess this one up, which makes it so easy to wear and pair because there's nothing you can really do. You don't have to tuck it, you don't have to mess with it. Just leave it, okay? Looks great. Um, any other questions on you for you guys? Um, let's see. Um, let's see, please make more shirts in this thing. L Lindsay, this is a really, really great length for a shirt. It's, I love when I can just throw a shirt on. That's why I love our, um, I love our fitted rib tees. I have several colors in those because it's one of those that I'm like, I can just put it on. Like, I don't need to think about it. It's really easy not to think about. Okay, let's move on to the, yeah, here. Ooh, I get to do my cargo shorts next. Hold on, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna put my cargo shorts back on. Hold on. Okay. Our cargo shorts, we did these, you guys. Two, was it two years ago? Who's got these? I need like a raise of hands. Who has them? Because these are the best, hands down, the best summer shorts, period. You won't hear me say that about any other short. Yes, I have favorite denim shorts. I've made favorite jean shorts for the summer, but I love these for the summertime. We did two years ago um, in this style. And what did we do? Who has olive? We did olive. We did a dark camo, right? I think a dark camo, right? Dark camo. And we did, 
like a rust color, right? Was it a rust color? Um, they are a loose, casual, relaxed style short. So they're very similar. This year we made our camper cargo pants from this style. So same material as the camper cargo pants, same style lines. Let me pull up so you can see. I should have put this blue pair on so you could see mommy better. It has all the detail and style lines of a great cargo. It's got the slash pockets, the button and um, zipper fly. It has a tie waist here. You can cinch it at the waist. The best feature on these is they are adjustable in length. So they have this tab right here and they're gonna come to you, I actually think they come one leg let out at its long length and one length tab to kind of show you that they can be two different lengths. Okay, so I've got, I love them at this length. I think this is the perfect inseam and I feel like I hope we have, I think we do have the measure, the inseam measurements of the two options okay so they tab here on the side you can see the tab i'm going to show you on this pair um, because mine are black so it's harder to see you just untab and then you can uncuff this and you get several more inches i want to say like maybe three more inches total i feel like it comes to like seven or maybe more than even seven down so just give that a steam or an iron and there you go so you have and it's a finished hem this way so here's what i love about these i wear these hiking with my kids biking with my kids we bike all the time in the summer we hike all the time in the side i always take them camping on camping trips hiking trips i wore them in the tetons when we go to the grand tetons they are just that easy one to throw on there's nothing tight about them nice loose casual fit and then that that varied seam giving you the option if you want to go up or down really is handy because there's been times when I'm like hiking, I mean, we've even like climbed rocks in these and I'm like, you know what, I'd, I'd like to get a little bit longer um, option in those and you can just let them out, just let them down and then you're like, you know what, I'm gonna come back up, <laughs> just give yourself a little double fold and then secure the tab and there you go, easy peasy. Okay, so true to size, in your true to size, they are a relaxed fit. These are a size four on me, and you can see I'm between a size four, and sometimes, I'm usually a size four, can be a size two, and these are nice, comfy, relaxed. In fact, I have to use kind of use the drawstring to create um, fit in my waist here. On these, um, the two, I can wear the two as well, and they do relax with wear, okay? So keep that in mind. So the two is what, I feel like I have fours and twos in these at my house. The thing you need to know is the fit is the same as two years ago. So whatever size you have in the green, the black camo, or the orange rusty color, whatever size you like, get the black and the blue in that same size. For those of you new to this style, please know it is a relaxed, casual fit, and it will relax a little bit with wear. So the difference between these and the cargo pants, the camper cargo pants, is I feel like the camper, car camper cargo pants are a little bit, they are, they're a little bit bigger than this, especially in the waist and in the thigh. Where you'll feel this one be most different is in the thigh because you have that double roll, double cuff right here. So the two in these starts off snug in the thigh for me where it kind of catches in my thigh, but I know it relaxes with wear and so I'm not afraid of that because I know I can just give it like a little bit of a stretch. This is the four on me right now, by the way. But the two, I can give a good stretch, just even kind of pull on that a little bit and you can tell it like aid, it aids in relaxing it quicker or I can just wear them around the house a little bit and it relaxes out. So that will really be the only point of tension and I really give you the determining factor if you can size down or not would be your personal preference on your fit in the thigh and know that it does relax with wear. So that's how they are mostly different than the camper cargo pants. The camper cargo pants will also be a little bit bigger through the waist and the hip as well. Because we had those drawstring tabs on that, we felt like we had more variable you know, room to kind of adjust waist. So this is gonna be slightly more true to size, slightly slimmer than what our camper cargos are, but same material, same similar style, and then you will feel a difference in the thigh. Camper cargo pants, you don't have any tension at your thigh because you're not rolling any material, like it's just laying out. So with rolling the material, double cuffing it, um, you'll get a, you might, if you, if you, if your thighs run a little bit bigger, if you carry weight through your thighs, you might feel that through your thigh, but know that you can give that a good tug and they do relax with wear. So between sizes, we'll want to size down in this one. Some people do read, wait, actually, actually read the reviews on the listing <laughs> because we'll have reviews from two years ago of people who size down or not. So that might help you the best on that. Okay. Okay. 
Let's bring the girls out in this. Taylor in this. In these. So Kate, yes and no on the same size. You will feel a difference. You'll feel a difference. It's not as roomy through the waist and not as roomy through the hip and you will feel it in your thigh, which is you're not gonna feel those things in the camper cargo. So they're a little bit slimmer than the camper cargo. So if, the, if you size down a full size in the camper cargo, you might not want to in here, um, but also they do relax with wear. They'll just, they, they are not exactly the same. Okay, tailored on these. Now she's got hers, she got hers, she has hers both let down for the longer length. So longer length styling, if you wanna wear it totally like that, you can do the cuff look. You could, you could cuff it once up if you wanted to do that. It really gives you the room to do both, but kind of showing you that difference in inseam um, to have the longer length or the shorter length, but the customizing is up to you. In her normal size, zero in those. Um, let's see, Erica says, I usually size up from my regular six for shorts because of hips and rear. Yes, I would not, this is a style I would not suggest anyone would need to size up in. Everyone will be fine because it's a casual, relaxed fit in your normal size. That's why some are able to size down in this style or even, I should say most, I don't even know if that's even safe to say. A lot size down in these because um, they do relax a little bit with wear and they are a casual fit. I would say nobody really should need to size up in these at all. They're in your normal size, they'll be nice. This is my normal size four. Nice and comfortable here. Let me take my tie out so I can, I know they're black, it's hard to see. But like nice, super, super comfortable fit through the waist. Okay, nice loose fit through the leg, like the hip. Nothing is like, nothing's tight on me. It's all loose and comfortable. And so is the two, but it's not as loose, not quite as loose. The two in the camper cargo is very loose on me. Where the twos on this start out, much, start out tighter than what the, mainly through the thigh, okay, um, and the hip and the waist as well than what the camper cargos do. I hope this helps, okay? Um, Laurel, good point bringing that up. These are a different rise than the camper cargos. The camper cargos are a higher rise. They're still a mid-rise, but these are a lower rise than what the, so that you can't compare waist because they're gonna hit you at a different point than what the camper cargo pants hit you. The camper cargo pit pants have a little higher rise. This is a mid, mid, mid rise on these. I'm well underneath um, my belly button in these for that kind of just casual, easy fit. So campers are gonna be our higher rise, okay? Yes, they're safe to say they run big, loose fitting, relaxed, and that's why some will size up. Okay, let's bring out the rest. Missy in these, and she did a little bit of a dressed up look, which you totally can do with this. I love this soft navy. Did we call this soft navy? What did I call this? Yes, soft navy. So it's not a dark navy. It's a nice, like it's a deep blue, dusty blue. Soft navy is the perfect name for it because it's navy, but it's not like your dark midnight navy. It's a soft navy, very pretty color. But if you wanna kind of do a dressed up look with that, you can grab this, um, what do we call this? Smocked, smocked something. It's a smock top. <laughs> but there's so many blues in here that that really works great with, um, with the dusty kind of blue wash navy color in, um, these bottoms. Okay, normal size eight. Eights. eights. Those are eights on her. Okay, and then Natalie in, in this same thing you saw, and you saw this one on the man, the model too. But this dusty, casual, soft blue color. You guys know we're gonna give you prints that work great with this color too. Okay, so that dusty blue is kind of in this top here to give it a little good look. And then Natalie's got hers all the way let out too, so she could cuff those easy easy peasy just fine double cuff be no problem but she's showing you the longer length just wanted to show you the options because we know some of you like longer your shorts longer and some like them shorter okay and normal size eight uh, ten. Ten? Ten on her okay michelle on these michelle's got them cuffed up like me normal size ten ten on you for a super comfy nice easy casual like this is how you want your shorts to fit in the summer like you don't really want stuff tight and touching you that's what makes these feel so good hiking and biking with a family, camping, vacations, okay, sitting out at the camper, tent site or whatever, you know, I mean, I can't, I would not want these to be super fitted. I love that they're loose and I, I can wear the two as a loose option as well, though it starts off much tighter and, and relaxes with wear. Okay, let's see. 
Melissa says, they do run big, but I don't think I personally would size down because I have thick thighs and curvy hips and a backside, <laughs> but they are a bit saggy by the end of the day on me. Okay, that's a great review, Melissa. Thank you for sharing. So in your normal size, there she's saying they're a nice, comfortable fit, and because she carries her weight, she talked about thighs, booty, <laughs> thighs and booty, um, she personally wouldn't size down. So it's gonna be your body type, how things, you know, if you're, you carry your weight and your, your hips and your booty, stay in your normal size and they'll be a very comfortable fit on you. They're a comfortable fit on everyone in their normal size. Um, they're made to be a comfortable fit. It'll just be a question of some of you if you prefer to size down or not, or not. okay? That was a great review, thanks Melissa. Um, so, the end of the day, they do relax and they're nice and loose. So even if they start, you want them to kind of start out a little bit tight on you, just like you do with the camper cargos, um, because they have that nice little bit of stretch in them that does relax with wear. Any other questions on these? Um, can someone message upstairs and see if Missy can put a si if she can wear the six? My guess is yes. And my guess is that the six would start out snug on her. She's usually eight, sometimes can wear a six. The six will start out snug on her, but my guess is that it will relax and she'll probably have to tug on the thigh a little bit to force the relaxing, relaxing in the, um, the thigh opening on her. But we'll see if we can get her to throw one on when she's up there, when she's done with the life. Okay, let's move on to the floral lace tank top slash I called it a cami earlier. Here's the great thing about this is this is really a crossover style and that's what makes it so great for, for an option in your closet. So a lot of times we have, um, we have camis that are dressy, we have camis with lace that make it dressy or the material or the sheen. This is a good option to give you more of a cotton look style. I don't think the material is cotton. Um, but it's a nice like more cottony feel. It's actually a micro rib. You're not gonna see the ribs because it's micro, but it gives you that nice like stretch, comfortable stretch, not a tight stretch, not slinky, not shiny, more of like the everyday type of cami tank, more everyday type of tank. Maybe we'll go there, okay, of tank style. But you get a little bit of the nicer, look or kind of dressier up style by the lace applique on this. So the two colors, we have you, we get, we get, have an ivory for you, which matches for everything, matches with everything. But the lace over the top, and you kind of get that lace kind of trailing up, down, over, over the top of the straps, which makes it really pretty. Makes it great for pairing with things like kimonos or an off the shoulder top or somewhere where maybe you would wear like a bralette or you're worried about a strap showing but you want to cover it up this is a good option for that but give you the co the coverage of a tank okay where it'd be like maybe it's like a bralette there we go it's like a bralette and a tank kind of mixed in one um, we gave you the adjustable straps on the back the wider straps as well oh i don't have it on <laughs> I pointed like I have it on. But we did that so that you can, you can wear your normal bra and you disguise, disguise it really well, okay? The material on this is stretchy, and I'm gonna show you where it's stretchy, okay? The whole, the whole main material, which the whole thing has this knit material, it's, this is laid over the top at the bust, is nice and stretchy. It's got a great stretch to it. The lace is not stretchy, however, that being said, it's on top of stretchy material and the back is fully stretchy material. So what we did with this is that allows you to kind of have this be custom fit with your bust a little bit because you'll end up using stretch from the back even though the lace doesn't have stretch, if that makes sense. So some people are worried when they're like, oh no, there's no stretch in the lace. Your bust will take stretch from the back of the garment which makes it adjustable and comfort style on the front, okay? Does have the adjustable straps. This is e this is easy to just throw on, put on. Like I said, off the shoulder top, this would be great with the, the lace standing out. And then we have, um, this one's white. Oh, did I say ivory? Well, we, we call it white. I would say it's white, um, but op not optic white. It's optic white. And then this one's like a nice dusty, like a pale, nice dusty pale pink. Um, color and there you can see the lace like stand out a little bit more on this color um, just because you know white doesn't show as well okay and there's the back um, what I love about it is that you can wear your normal bra <laughs> so it's not one of those ones that you're like oh, I need to go pull out the strapless bra we made those nice and thick to kind of cover that so um, I want to know the lace is not stretchy but like I said the back is stretchy so even though you don't have stretch here at the bust your bust will take stretch from the back, if that makes sense. So here, can you kind of see? 
Like it, when you stretch the front, it will, it will use the back to stretch around to the front. So true to size, fitted style tank. I would say it's not like a suck you in type of fitted style, but it definitely sits close to the body. Between sizes, and if you prefer it to be less fitted, um, go up. And if between, I don't know, this is not gonna help you guys at all. <laughs> and if between, um, and you want it more fitted or, you know, not busty, then go down. Okay, this is extra small on me. And I now have a tank on top of a tank. <laughs> nice um, casual fit on this. So easy, you know, easy just where it lays. You can tuck it in if you want, but nice to just to wear with a kimono. And then you can see in the extra small. Here, maybe I can show you. You don't have stretch here, but you have stretch. Look at this. You have stretch that your bust is going to pull around from the back for stretch. So fitted style between sizes. I think I prefer the small in this, although, you know, I would not have a brummie on with one of, the, one of these either. That was the extra small of me. This is the small. And then I'll bring the girls out. Um, the small, you know, the extra small is a little bit more fitted. This gives me a little bit more room. You can see the stretch in the material. And then, of course, I'm, you know, Tank on tank, so don't know if that's helpful. This one doesn't sit as, you know, as close to me. And then I've got a lot more room here at the bust. So there you can see that your fit, your bust fit is gonna pull from your back here. There we go. Okay, so you still get a nice comfortable fit. Nice and flattering, the V's not too low. Um, it's nice and high, so you still have like really good coverage and strap coverage. Okay, questions on this one? Let's bring the girls out. Dusty pink is a good choice, Bettina. I think it's a good choice. Okay, um, extra small and the skirt. That looks so cute with the skirt. Just get a little front tuck, okay? Nice, great coverage. Here's where I was saying that V is not very low at all. So you have nice, good coverage on that. Now, she can choose to let those straps out if she wants a little bit lower coverage in the front or tighten them up, but I think, do you have them full? She's, yeah. She's just got a normal, and I think that looks perfect on her. Okay, normal size, extra extra small on her, and this is the, hold on, this is small on me? This is small on me. Okay, Missy and this one. Yeah, small on me. Okay, this is what I was saying. It elevates a kimono top, so where you don't feel like you have to be like a dressy option, if you want something a little bit in between, this is a good option because you get a little bit of that dressy element with the lace, but you have the feel of like a nice everyday kind of stretchy tee type of style that gives you that like comfort fit, but not to the dressy side, but you get a little bit of the dressy with the lace. So throw it on with a kimono, don't have to tuck it in, you can just leave it out, it makes it really easy to throw on and pair. And then if you had something over the shoulder, it'd look really pretty to show the lace as well. Normal size small on her, okay? Normal size small. Natalie in this one. Teresa says, will they fit the same as the Brahmies? I would say they're not as fitted as the Brahmies. Not at all. The Brahmi, I've got the small medium Brahmi on. I would say they probably offer like the same or similar amount of stretch. But the Brahmi is going to stay closer to you in general, feel closer to you um, than this will. But I feel like it's a nice kind of true to size um, fit. Okay, Natalie in this, same thing. Elevates a denim jacket, denim vest, kind of an option like that that's just really easy to give yourself a little touch of a little something special just here at the bust. Really flattering on her, normal size medium on her, okay? And then we're going to show you a color pairing, which looks fabulous too. So if you're in the matchy side of things and wanted something to go with your favorite button up plaid, this dusty kind of blush color really is about the same color as that, um, the color in the favorite plaid. So if you kind of like that tone on tone look, this is a great option too. Michelle in her normal size large. Okay. Any questions on this? Anything similar and fit in the past summer tanks? <sighs> like the flower with lace trim. Floral one play. I don't know which one you're talking about. Um, if I can't think of anything particularly because it's knit, it's not woven. So I would say, I mean, it's really just a true to size fit style. I would say stay in your normal size unless you're busty and maybe know you intentionally like want a lot more room than go up. But otherwise in your normal, or if you just don't want, if you're between and don't want as fitted, this is the small on me and I love this fit. I can wear the extra small and it's not too tight on me. So it really, and then you guys have to like, <laughs> look at my double, my double tank situation. Okay, so um, 
true to size and you don't totally have to worry about bust um, because you will use stretch in the back. But I would say if you're questioning and sometimes you size up if you're between and you size up for bust reasons or size up in stuff you're between because you like slightly looser fit, then I would, um, I would do that in this style too. Okay, wash instructions are machine wash cold, um, lay fat, flat or line dry. Okay, someone was asking about wash. Okay, any other questions on that? Am I sold out of all necklaces? Do we know or do we have some necklaces to talk about? Do we still have these? Starbucks, I don't know if anyone can check to see if these are sold out. I know you guys already sold out of the, the sea glass one, so we're just not even gonna talk about that one. Um, but Mel's favorite hoop earrings, I'm either wearing, actually, I feel like this is the only, the only pair I have upstairs. Somehow mine went missing. Um, but I'm either wearing these, the statement hoops, or I'm wearing Mel's favorite hoops. These are back in both silver and gold. These are your staple hoop statement, not even statement, staple, staple staple earring and it's got the really easy like latch back okay so just like simple to put on nothing showy just not too big not too small easy to throw on both in gold and silver and those and then if there is the sunburst or starburst sunburst necklace still in stock it's our 18 karat gold plated which our earrings are as well um 18 karat gold plated um starburst and we did we had, I don't know if we still do, silver, the silver and the gold. I love these because I'm always wearing our, the flat chain or snake chain, whatever this one is. And then I always like something a little bit lower than that. So I'm always kind of a big fan of having, um, and then there's like a little, just, I don't know. It's like a little shimmery, just slightly shimmery inside. It doesn't look like a sun. It's like the perfect little, sunburst and that's why we called it sunburst so silver oh thank you silver available gold sold out so if you're a silver fan and was asking about silver jewelry um snag that one that's a good good little sunburst nice great option to drop down okay that's it right i hit them all we went through everything um if any if you have any questions if i missed anything make sure to hop over to grace and lace vips on our facebook page um, and the girls can help you answer questions. They do pairings over there. They do um, everything <laughs> like happens over there. So hop on over there if I missed anything or if you have questions on fit, questions in color or color comparisons, they're super helpful. Um, otherwise, we will be back next week, clearly, because we just had a shipment <laughs> arrive one minute before the, li the live started. So we will um, be back same time, same place next week, Friday, 11 a.m. And I'll see you then. So have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.